Hey, Adam, we're talking a little bit. We're talking about uh, expiration uh, when it comes to options, and, and there's a couple different areas. We've got weekly options, and we've got the you know the the monthly options. We've got uh, quarterly options. So let's talk a little bit about that as you know from a trader's perspective and how you view volatility and expiration. I think you know, an issue is expiration days can cause uh, can cause volatility change. It can on a, it's volatile. It'll basically add to the volatility trend. So if the day is volatile, having options expiring will add to that volatility because yet there's no premium cushion. When you sell options, you get premiums, and when there's no time left, there's no premium to cushion you against a move. So what happens is. Um, on a regular expiration, if a stock is moving, you're going to have, let's, let's say it's moving through a strike, uh, up, say up through a strike, call shorts. Those call shorts now have gone from having a position that's going to go away, they're now suddenly being short the stock if it closes over strike. So they, you know, if they're getting caught, they might have to chase, they chase to cause the stock to go a little more, they get the next batch of calls and so on and so forth. And just the mere presence of options can, can cause a move. Right. So we're, we're you know, most of the time, options expiring work against volatility because most of the time it's option longs that have the premiums decaying that are trying to salvage the premium. Right. But the point would be they have a they do not they have a defined loss. You know, you can only lose what you paid for the option or what you have left in the option. So they'll try to set it. It only goes to zero. Whereas an option short who gets trapped. He's really trapped. He's an open-ended loss. So you have the potential if you ever have one of these ugly days on a Friday. Now that you have weekly expirations and you know spiders and queues and yeah, like yeah. those major stocks, you know Apple, Google, Amazon. You know now they lift them like Priceline. You know Netflix. They got them everywhere now. Right, right. So if you ever if you ever had some ugliness in one of these things on a Friday, you could really um, you could really get ugly. You know because people really trade these things now. They've become pretty popular. So yeah, I was going to. So my question to you on, on these weekly options, Adam, are they becoming are they becoming more traded and more liquid? You know, or, or are they still? Uh, yeah, they're, yeah, they're becoming pretty popular. They're becoming pretty liquid, and um, you know, you'll see things like I was looking at a couple today, and you see the volume. Okay, huge open interest because people are really using these things as trading vehicles. Trading it just relative to. Is, Volume relative to the open interest, um, you know, it'll pass the open interest like a busy day by like 11 o'clock in the morning. And right. So, you know, there's pe you know, people are buying and selling and someone, you know, is potentially going to get caught and these, you know, it's going to snowball. It, um, it sounds like Doom and Gloom. It's, you know, an unlikely event, but it's like something, you know, if you have an ugly Friday, you get ugly Fridays from time to time anyway because people are afraid to hold over the weekend. Right. You know, now you have like you, you're always going to have an expiration thrown in on it now because it's yeah. really, you know these things are popular now. Or you're always going to have weekly expiration nowadays. So, right. um, you know, there's a possibility you, know, you got to keep in mind a Friday ugly day and could I, become a very ugly day. And as you said, we really haven't it's had. It's just we, had a fuel. Yeah, we, we as you said, we really had. You know, this is just more of a hey. It's, think about this when you're getting involved in these things because they're expiring every week now. Besides every month, besides every quarter, so you're adding another factor into it. We have not had too much movement on Fridays. That e that Egyptian Friday three weeks ago, after you know, we we had what forty yeah. points down, forty points down, but there was no follow through. But that I, I'm curious, was that definitely you know that was the type of day that there, there, there was probably some strange things going on in stocks that had nothing to do with. Egypt, like you said, Priceline, Amazon, that were probably being pressed just because of this expiration moment. Probably made them worse. Yeah. Yeah, probably added, you know, the stuff's on the margins, but it probably adds on the margins. But I guess the thing is also that snowballs a little bit because, you know, one guy gets caught, gets the cover, he then yep. moves the stock a little bit, traps the next guy, or then he's hit the next guy's pain threshold. Yep. It's just something out there. It's, it's interesting, interesting. But, but, but again, it's, it, it's, this is another note for people. When markets are easy and the volatility is low, this stuff doesn't matter so much. But it's also the, the time when you need to start thinking about this and how you react during those times of higher volatility. And you know, when, when things are being pressed and, and, and you know, people know that people are getting hurt, the press gets harder and harder during those times, as Adam is suggesting. And it's just more of a educational thing. You know, beware that these things happen. And we haven't seen them in a long time. 